Ever turned on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, actually GS in Windows, and felt no difference? Or worse, extra stutters? That's because HAGS is only the surface layer. Behind the scenes, Windows and GPU drivers have hidden frame scheduling policies that control how frames are queued, how interrupts are delivered, and how the GPU pipeline prioritizes latency versus throughput. By default, Windows chooses safe and conservative values, which work fine for laptops and office PCs. But for gaming, those defaults can add frame buffering, input delay, and random spikes. In this video, we're going to unlock the real GPU scheduling controls, registry-level frame queue keys, driver tweaks, and MSI Utility V3 tuning. These steps will let you take control of how your GPU scheduling works, shaving off latency, and keeping frame times stable. But first, as always, before editing the registry or tweaking GPU drivers, update your GPU driver from NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. Create a restore point. This gives you a fallback in case you want to undo any changes. Now, let's dive into the real steps. Step 1. Unlock hidden GPU frame queue registry keys. Windows stores GPU scheduling policies under registry keys that are normally hidden. These keys affect how frames are queued from the CPU to GPU, which directly controls input lag and stutter. Here's how to unlock them. Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and hit Enter. Navigate to Create or modify the following D word 32 bit values HW SKU, mode, value 2 equals enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, value 1 equals default driver scheduling, value 0 equals disabled. Set this to 2 for most systems. Frame queue mode, value 0 equals low latency, minimum queuing, value 1 equals normal, Windows default, value 2 equals aggressive throughput, max queuing, higher lag. Set this to 0 for lowest input lag. Max frame latency, value 1 equals CPU submits one frame ahead, minimum lag. Values 2 to 3 equals more buffered frames but slower with higher lag. Set this to 1 for ultra-low latency gaming. Restart your PC to apply changes. Why this matters. By default, Windows buffers frames to avoid dropped frames. That's fine for video playback, but in gaming, it means extra input lag. Unlocking and forcing these keys gives you direct control over GPU scheduling. Step 2. Enable MSI mode with MSI Utility V3. Even though GPU scheduling may be optimized, your GPU could still be handling interrupts in line-based mode. This can result in noticeable delays, especially when your GPU shares IRQs, interrupt for quest lines, with other devices like storage or audio hardware. By switching your GPU to MSI, Message Signaled Interrupts mode, you reduce latency, avoid interrupt conflicts, and improve the responsiveness of your system. To get started, you'll need to download MSI Utility V3. A simple search for MSI Utility V3 should lead you to the safe tool. Once you've downloaded it, run the utility as an administrator to make sure you have the proper permissions for system level changes. Next, locate your GPU device in the utility. This could be an NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel card, depending on your setup. In the MSI Utility interface, look for the checkbox labeled MSI mode and check it. You can also adjust the priority of interrupts by selecting High, Medium, or Low. Setting it to High prioritizes your GPU's interrupts over other devices, which can improve its overall performance. Once you're done, click Apply, then reboot your system. This will apply the changes and make sure your GPU starts receiving interrupts in the fastest possible manner without having to wait for other devices to finish. If you've ever experienced DPC latency spikes while using tools like LatencyMon, particularly from your GPU, 
This adjustment should resolve those issues. By switching to MSI Road, your GPU won't be bogged down by unnecessary delays, leading to a smoother and more responsive experience, especially during gaming or heavy workloads. Step 3. Tune GPU Preemption Policy Registry For gaming, the goal is to allow the GPU to switch between tasks more fluidly, ensuring that real-time frame rendering isn't delayed by long compute-heavy tasks, which can lead to stutter or lower frame rates. This becomes even more important in modern games, which often leverage asynchronous compute to offload certain tasks from the GPU to improve overall efficiency. To adjust this preemption policy, follow these steps. Open Registry Editor. You can do this by pressing Win plus R, typing RegEdit, and pressing Enter. In the Registry Editor, navigate to the following path. If the scheduler key doesn't exist yet, you will need to create it. Right-click on the Graphics Drivers folder, select New, Key, and name it Scheduler. Once you're in the Scheduler folder, right-click in the right pane and choose New, D-Word 32-Bit Value. Name the new value Enable Preemption. Double-click the Enable Preemption entry and set its value to 1. This will allow GPU workloads to be preempted by shorter tasks, reducing latency and improving responsiveness, especially in scenarios where frame rendering is critical. Step 4. Optimize Power Policy for Consistent GPU Scheduling Power management settings can sometimes interfere with GPU scheduling, especially when Windows decides the GPU is idle and reduces its clock speeds. This can lead to inconsistent performance, particularly during tasks that require stable and high GPU performance, such as gaming or video editing. To avoid these issues and ensure that GPU scheduling stays consistent, we need to lock in certain power settings. To begin, press Win plus R to open the Run dialog box, then type the following command and press Enter. This command will open the Advanced Power Options menu, where we can make the necessary adjustments. Once you're in the Advanced Power Options window, expand the PCI Express section. Under Link State Power Management, set the option to Off. This prevents the system from trying to put the PCIe link into a low power state, which can disrupt GPU performance. Next, expand the Processor Power Management section and set Minimum Processor State to 100%. This ensures that your CPU doesn't drop to lower power states, which can also impact GPU scheduling and cause performance inconsistencies. For those who prefer working with the registry, there's an alternative method. In the registry keys you modified in Step 1, where you adjusted GPU scheduling, you can add a new D-word entry. Disable GPU idle equals 1. This key essentially forces the GPU to avoid dropping into idle states during gaming or other GPU-intensive tasks. Without this, the GPU might enter idle scheduling modes in the background, leading to performance dips during critical moments. Step 5. Clean NVIDIA and AMD shader cache and rebuild queue policies. Even after all scheduling changes, old shader cache and scheduling data can linger, which prevents you from seeing the full effect. Clearing them resets the driver to follow your new policies. For NVIDIA, press Win plus R, type percent local app data percent backslash NVIDIA and delete all files. Do the same for percent program data percent backslash NVIDIA. Reboot and relaunch your games. For AMD, go to percent local app data percent backslash AMD and delete all files. Also clear percent program data percent backslash AMD. For all GPUs, run this command in CMD admin to refresh GPU policies. 
gpupdate.exe forward slash force. This ensures your new registry keys are respected and your GPU runs on a clean slate. And that's it. You've just gone way beyond HAGS and unlocked true GPU scheduling control. To recap, enabled hidden GPU frame queue registry keys, used MSI Utility V3 to force MSI mode and high interrupt priority, tuned GPU preemption policy in the registry, optimized power policies to prevent scheduling drops, cleared shader cache to reset scheduling policies. The result? Lower input lag, fewer stutters, and frame times that actually feel locked. These aren't placebo tweaks. These are real GPU scheduling parameters that Windows hides from you. And once tuned, you'll never want to go back to stock behavior.